So welcome to Blogs for Blogging course. In this video I will discuss some of the options we have when it comes to blogging these blogs for. And what I will show you is the writer template. Well, let's open it and see how it looks. So this is the design I went for, but obviously when we start to work this walled CMS, we will have quite different design compared to this. I mean, this is the perfect template for people who just want to maybe manually manage the block and blocks, which is option number one when it comes to blogging these blocks. You don't need to use walled CMS. You don't need to use WordPress, which is another option and any other CMS platform. So if you were just to use my templates or build one from scratch, you can easily do that. So this website has a few pages, home, about, gallery, contact, post. Post page is the important one because this is what we will use every time we write a new page, new post. So right now, if you go to home, obviously when we go here, it will move to the same post page we have here. But if you were to use the manual mode, you will just go to this area here, click plus, let's type new post. And we will duplicate the page instead of creating it from scratch, we'll select the post, click create. And this is the new post page. So we will type the new title title here, we will change the image and obviously all of the content. We will have to go to page settings, change the SEO title description. We will go to like social cars, change the title description, add some preview images here. Obviously, that's not what we're gonna do now. I covered all of that in the blogs for website course. But when we create this new post, we will have to go to our home page and add it to our list of pages here. As you can see, this is list of posts and we don't want to change a featured one because this is the important post and I don't want to change it every time. If I would have to, I can easily do that. I have done a tutorial on YouTube about this. I will probably link it in the description below. But uh, what I will have to do, I will select the block. You can see that each of these posts are block. I will select this one, the first under the featured post, duplicate it and change the image to the one we had on our posts, change the title, new post title goes here. I would manually change the date. If I want, I will change the category and so on. After that, I will have to go to footer because here I have the recent, recent posts area. And this is because it is footer, it is available on all pages. It will be shown under each of the pages. And well, if I don't want to edit it often, I might just change this to popular posts and I don't really need to change it all the time. But nonetheless, like if I want to change it here, I will have to edit this class here. And of course, change the title, the date, do that all manually. An important thing here, of course, I will have to select, first of all, this link here and link it to the new post. I will have to go to this new post we just duplicated here, select the link here and link it to new post and it will work fine. As you can see, we have this new one here. If we click on it, it will go to the new post. If we go back to block and click on the old one, it will go to the old post. And this is how you manage, manually manage block in blocks without using any CMS platforms. And honestly, it's not terrible. It's totally fine if you only update your blog once per month, maybe, or maybe once per few months. I mean, even I don't really update it that recently for my blog, I mean. So this is okay, but the downside of this method is that you need to 
open blocks every time you want to post something. You need to then, of course, export the files. You need to open your FTP platform, uh, FTP client. I using I'm using Transmit, but I will need to open Transmit, upload the files every time I want to post something, and that's not that difficult if you streamlined your workflow but what if you don't have your computer your mac with you all the time and you want to update this from some other computer obviously you cannot do that without help of cms platforms so what vault cms or wordpress give us is ability to just open the web browser and i will go to the blocksmaster website which is using vault cms here I will go to login page and from here I will go to news page and as you can see when we log in we have this plus or exit button and there is actually edit button as well which is not usable let me not visible let me rearrange our window so we can see it as you can see, we have three of these. So if you want to quickly add something to our blog, we will just click plus, type the title, test, whatever category, description, header content, summary content, main content, we can change the date, everything. And we just click save or save and close. And you can see we now have this posted live to our website. Obviously, I don't want to do that, so I will delete it and when we are done we just click this red button and voila we have our website updated of course i have deleted it but if i did not it will show and we will have the sub page automatically created for us and vault will automatically create the page for you of course all of the design here all of the buttons all of the colors this is what you need to create once when you just start and this is what we're going to do in this course. I will show you how to create the layout, how to change the style for everything, how to create the design you want. And then after that, you don't really need to open your blogs application anymore to post new posts. And we will be, of course, using Vault CMS at first, but in the future, I might also add the WordPress version because this WordPress we can do something similar, but of course, WordPress is more complicated and it is the full blown CMS platform which uses databases. Vault CMS is not using any databases at all. It is the flat file. Basically, it just creates the TXT text files on your server. And when you create a new post, upload the image, which you can do, of course, it will upload the images for you just inside your web browser or any web browser on any computer even on mobile device so that's it for this overview video starting from the next part we will move on to the model number one and we will take a look at world cms basics mm -hmm.